We're in September now. It's uh, getting into the fall season. It just hit the end of summer. And here are my moringa trees. Uh, they're about four and a half months old, getting to be about five months. Um, probably in October, I guess, is when they'll be five months. And this is the set of trees that I had growing um, from underneath my fence over here. I actually have concrete all along my yard and I just have a small sliver of dirt that I grew these trees. This one I'm showing you that I uh, cut back um, because I didn't like the way it was growing so I wanted it to regrow. And uh, here we go, I just blinked over to um, my main trees that I was doing all my testing with. Um, so those are the, you can see um, in front of you, I have a very small one to the left, but the one I'm picking from right now is the one I've been the happiest with. And this is the one that, um, if you see my earlier videos, that when it reached about, um, I believe it was two feet, I cut it back uh, two thirds of the way and um, you'll want to check out my previous videos just to see exactly how I did that. You can see this small runt moringa tree over here. For some reason, it's just never taken off. Um, even as I'm rec uh, recording this video in 2016, I'll have some updates for you, so, so stay tuned. But that tree just has never produced properly, while these other trees um, have all just continued to produce and grow and get really big um, so I'm just showing you how I typically go about my collecting of moringa and there it is I get a stash like that um, pretty consistently